Hi, Pierce here. Today I'm gonna show you guys my entire LEGO Army collection. And yeah, um, I made a rough estimation of the amount of minifigures in this army and I have estimated it to be around 220 to 240 men. So let's get started. I'm going to cover the infantry and then move on to the vehicles and then on to aircraft or spacecraft later. So we're going to start off with like our main infantry units on the ground. So starting off, we're going to have the first order um, units. We have a um, first order stormtroopers, uh, no, snow troopers. We have a snow trooper commander here. We have um, here, we have a first order heavy gunner with a regular first order trooper and then first order um, walker driver. Moving on, we have more regular infantry units, mostly here from the Empire and the Clones and Old Republic. We have an Imperial officer leading um, a stormtrooper detachment with some Imperial shock troopers as support. This one's my custom, this is from a Lego set battle pack and that battle pack was really good this one the shock trooper was really nice um, we have some regular line regular stormtroopers um, some jetpack stormtroopers we have I have um, scout troopers I basically paired up scout troopers and Kashyyyk troopers like um, a sniper team so we have a sniper here I, could, I think I could this one with a Springfield rifle and um, made him a sniper and then made his um, buddy a spotter. And they're led by Commander um, Neo, or you can call him a bar, bar trooper. Over here, we got some old Republic troopers, and this entire detachment is led by Batman. Uh, we got another ATSD officer leading a group of Geonosis um, Phase 2 clone troopers with um, airborne assault troopers. I'm gonna skip these two for a Spec Ops part. Moving on, we have a this is the more of a clone trooper set section. Um, we have a commander, Phase 1 commander, Phase one captain. Um, we also have. I also have um, clone sergeant here with um, two regular shiny clone trooper phase ones. We have an ARF trooper leading a detachment of 442nd phase two clone troopers with Kashyyyk troopers. Again, I, I'm I um assign one Kashyyyk trooper a Springfield rifle. And um, made the basically made the other guy a spotter with a DC 15S. Now, moving on, we have the um, 212th being led by a regular phase two shiny clone trooper. Um, we have phase two 212 battalion attack battalion with um, 212th um, airborne assault troopers. In the back here, we have a um, bomb squad trooper. Over here, we have Jace Malcolm, who is actually a Old Republic trooper, leading a um, bunch of Galactic Marines. Now, you can also call this snow troopers, but um, I have basically, um, in the past, used markers to basically color them red. But um, essentially, what happened was that over time, the red the um the red marker kind of went away and um i guess some of my friends have now called this like sort of, sort of like mass like um some sketchy troopers to have murdered and have a lot of blood on their uniforms but um yeah they were they were meant to be galactic marines but um now they kind of look like <laughs> psychopathic troopers but yeah um here we have a 501st legion Trooper leading a um, duo of two two um, wolf pack troopers. Over here we have a regular infantry detachment. Um, 
um, that is, um, we have a British soldier with sort of like an American soldier. We have pretty much a regular fire team with like machine guns, assault rifles, rifles, um, RPGs and stuff. Another infantry detachment made up of rebel and modern warfare and um, other troopers here led by a rebel pathfinder commander. Got some jet troopers, machine gunners. We got this trooper from Rogue One that I totally forgot the name of. And we have an 1800s trooper here with a musket. And that, hopefully that will serve him well. Um, we have another infantry detachment here with um, two hand solos. Uh, I guess the Luke Skywalker that I made into someone else. Uh, two Hoff troopers, sniper, and some machine gunner. A officer from a police officer from Lego City that I just made into a generic military officer. With a um, another soldier with a carbine. Over here. We have the Mandalorian section. This section is being led by a um, commander, or um, is just simply the um, prototype Boba Fett, um, with his subordinate officers, which I just basically um, made, which were um, the um, I think the Darth Maul Mandalorian troopers. I think I forgot what they're called, but. They have red markings and they just they just look a lot cooler. Um, but they're leading a bunch of Death Watch troopers. Yeah, over here we have sort of like a um, ragtag ragtag group of assortment of Mandalorians with like a much much more unique weaponry of like carbines, pistols, snipers, and rotary guns. So yeah. We also have, uh, I also have separatist soldiers. We have command B1 battle droid commanders, um, pilots. I have a security droid, which I made myself using a marker. Um, also have B2 battle droids. And yeah, that's basically my separatist army, which is basically very small to these days. I used to have more, but um, I sent them off to like, quote unquote overseas bases and stuff. Um I also had droid echoes with um sniper sniper droids, but um I broke them for um quote unquote other purposes, um, for other creations and stuff. Yeah. Moving on, we have um my SIF well, actually did I cover all the regular infantry units? Yeah I covered all the regular infantry units so now for the special forces units so um here we have the sift detachment we led by um darth vader this darth vader over here is an older version of darth vader and then we have clone wars darth maul with uh episode one darth maul um, we got some Sith Troopers with Jar Jar, and um, if you know some theories, um, some people have been saying Jar Jar is a one of the most powerful, could be potentially one of the most powerful Sith Lords, or some people just theorize he is, because secretly inside, we all know that Jar Jar is um, hiding some nasty secrets. Yeah. Uh, we also have a ragtag group of Atlantis um, sharks. Um, we also ha I also have um, some rock monsters. So I guess I guess that's one way to rule the seas and to rule the ground below people. Oh, um, side note: we also have I also have um, new gunray and an Amorian soldier so yeah those those two in um another duo fire team is um Baze Malbus and um 
short in way with their OP weapon area and OP skill fighting skills. So yeah, I basically made them into like a um, special spec ops force. I made this other spec ops force based on space police and since the space police armor kind of like look cool and she just feel like so so like well just it just look well just look so well protected i kind of made them into like sort of like an odst sort of attack force like they're kind of like they're like an infiltrative or like they land on the ground before everyone else does sort of paratrooper fashion troopers like they're like spearhead and shock troopers yeah i even equipped them similar similarly to um the odsts from halo the odsts are basically like orbital drop shock troopers that basically land before any other unit lands yeah they have like a main battle an assault rifle here with some it's not halo um some some machine guns gave this guy like a jet pack yeah too much more cooler special forces not uh, just just more special forces but um yeah um we have our troopers uh this uh just uh excluding that arc trooper but i decided to include him because it kind of just it kind of just made sense i'll explain that later we have um arc trooper hammer with a um phase one arc trooper lieutenant with a um rancor battalion arc trooper so i just put that in Ranko Battalion, like if you see in the Clone Wars, is led literally led by ARC Troopers, so I guess they're, if, if there's basically a ton of ARC Troopers within that battalion, like, I guess those ARC Troopers are a bit, um, a bit more, like, they, the, the, the battalion has sort of this elite feel to it, so I guess I'll just put this guy in as part of the ARC Trooper squad. It's a sort of elite status um over here we have a small fire team of death troopers we have the inferno squad from battlefront 2 um they basically i think in the game they they're basically ground troops but they can they're basically also pilots for tie fighters so basically I can call these guys like literally just like space some sort of they're not like warhammer space marines but i'll just i literally just call them space marines my own type of space marine force spec op force um oh i have jedi here um i have two yodas one ahsoka anakin satil sean from the old republic mace windu Ploku and Luke Skywalker. Over here I have um Sensei Wu, I think from Ninjago. I think this is Sensei Wu. Um I have Kwai Gon Jin, something Trebor, the guy who got who got um literally just um slaughtered by Django Fett at the Battle of Geonosis. I have Ferris Ophi, um I forgot her name, a sort of like karate master and stuff. I got a buzz droid here with Chewbacca, who is just lonely, just lonely, lonely, just a lonely little guy just standing in the corner. Basically, that's it. Um, and yeah, that's, I guess that's basically it. Oh wait, um, here, I have more like a secret agent score with like Lego agents. So we got. I have like Lego agents. I think like four of them with like I included like Lego movie sort of um sort of robot soldiers to help them out in their mission. Moving on, we move to pilots. So here we have a pilot core. We have a clone pilot. Resistance pilot, Biggs, Dark Letter. Now, Biggs Dark Letter is a really special one to me because it's just so difficult to get. I guess I 
because I had budget Tillies. Um, and he's one of those pilots. Well, actually, forget about Wedge and Tillies, but um, Lego first released him in like I think like 1999, and they haven't released him for like a long time, and now they released him in like the new Lego X Wing. So just like he has this sort of, for me, he just has this sort of exclusive vibe to him, which is awesome. They got a pilot here, an AT AT driver, A wing pilot, and um. Imperial hover tank pilots. We have some more robo pilots and regular pilots here. Um, I think I'll call this like sort of like an aircraft pilot, drivers, robo alliance pilots. We have Luke Skywalker again, um, Wedge Antilles. I forgot his name. We got a Y wing pilot, another robo pilot, and yeah. And we got some more here. This um, we got. Oh, this is just a power miner. But I decided since he kind of looked so, hot, since he had sort of this um, this tough vibe to him, I kind of just like made him into like a tank pilot or like a armored vehicle driver or something. I got some rescue holo um coast guard helicopter pilots. We have a mechanic and pilot they're all here and that yeah that's basically it for the pilots we have some civilian contractors and um i have some civilian contractors and helpers like um people who drive trucks to the front and deliver important supplies or like um, people who build who build military um infrastructure so the military can um base their military operations out of there so that's very important so we just have over here we have some construction workers to build like airships or like um bases because some of these guys could be spies or just people with like civilian contractors we got truck drivers we got a loan and loan and uh first order gunner We have some random group of warriors here for some reason. Um, I guess more civilians. Uh, more civilians or sort of military contractors or something. We have like supply truck drivers. I guess spies or something. I, I consider them spies, but I don't know. It's like, it's like literally, hey, um, hey, I'm a spy. <laughs> That that's kind of that's kind of stupid, but yeah. Um, we have some more construction workers, more civilians, uh, coast guard, construction workers, more civilians. We got a sort of a general, a really old general here, and then yeah, that's basically it for the civilians. Moving on to some more officers. These random officers here, well, these are basically random minifigures that I decided to make them into officers, some sort of lower class officers, but yeah. Um, more officers here, got sandy cheeks, but um, I guess I decided to make her some sort of science officer or something, because she, she, just, she just knows her science, and I think she knows her science and stuff, but yeah. Um... I have Admiral Akbar. I have I forgot his name, but um he's another um he's another um Admiral. Um Oh he's Radis. Admiral Radis. That is Admiral Radis. We got two Princess Leas, an Imperial Officer, we got Optimus Prime for some reason. Um we got I got um I forgot some other transformers i think that's starscream but um made sure i made sure not to make starscream seriously any high rank i just made him as just probably just a soldier so um he wouldn't be there backstabbing people because yeah but i guess who cares at this point but um yeah so that's basically all my minifigures now to the vehicles I'll probably start off with some more civilian-like vehicles. 
So I guess here I got like a dune buggy, spread of SpongeBob set. Yeah. Um, I think I got this bulldozer, a Lego bulldozer here. Uh, the steamroller. Oh, here's a another random coast coast guard. Um, we got a um, civilian passenger plane to basically transport supplies or passengers or important personnel. Yep. And that's basically it for the more, actually no, there's more civilian stuff. Here is the all important supply truck because without supplies, basically you can't supply your army, no weapons, no ammunition, no fuel, basically nothing can happen. So here is the important supply truck. Uh, we got a forklift to help with the supplies, um, more trucks, I guess that can ferry more supplies. Another small truck to do the same thing. Um, Oh, I got like the sort of secret police sort of Lego City Police um command center. I think this is like the 2009, somewhere like a 2009, 2011 model, some sort of police mobile headquarters. Here I have my surface to air missile launcher, machine gun, and I... Yeah, that's basically all the more civilian like vehicles. Oh, except for that RV over there. But yeah. Oh, actually, that no, that's military. But moving on to military, we have a um, motorcycle over there. Um, got another light track utility vehicle here. My APC Mark II. A upgraded Mandalorian speeder, which I equipped with a um, rotary gun. My tank destroyer. A, base, a um, RV spy plane. Two spider droids. Um, the newer version, the somewhat new, newer version of the um, armored assault tank of the Separatist. A hellfire droid. A spider droid. And um, bolster droid. That's basically the separatist stuff. Moving on to the Republic stuff. We have an ATTE walker with some other supporting scout walkers. This is an AT 501st ATRT. Some other random walkers. Republic walkers. Um, here is a Republic swamp speeder. We have the powerful, um, sort of powerful, but pretty cool a Lego AV-7 cannon. Another smaller, I guess, sort of howitzer, Republic howitzer. And a Republic bark speeder. Yeah, oh, and um, I'll, I'll probably break the roll a little bit, but um, the Republic LAT or also known as the Republic Gunship. And not forgetting about this um, big fat giant death robot mech that I built a long time ago. Um, this guy is equipped with like a power lance, um, pretty much nuke launcher and auto cannons and shield generators, jet packs and um, laser cannons and much more yeah pretty awesome death machine and a random stat that's over here over here I have a first order snow speeder a imperial hover tank some other speeders we got Speeders from like an Imperial Battle Pack, Snow Troopers, and Imperial Officer ATSD Driver, a Rebel Speeder, a mini version of um, the Rebel, I think some sort of skiff or something. I could see it in The Last Jedi or something. And yeah. 
and oh and my aircraft carrier my wooden aircraft carrier here let's get a better peep of that so that's basically the non-air and space component for the first part except for the the plane and the gunship well, moving on to space and air actually just quick side note i have like these um animals which i guess i can recruit into my army so i have like a i have a raptor and a wampa and a tauntaun and i gave this officer sort of like a mounted appearance with like his little blaster and yeah like a scout right into battle sort of like a horse and stuff But otherwise, um, moving on to the space vehicles, we have a Clone Wars Y-Wing. This is very cool. This is basically the um, a Y-Wing with all that plating put on. The original Y-Wing, Y-Wing from the original trilogy, with um, yeah, basically all the armor, a bubble turret. Yeah, this is I think this is my favorite Y-Wing design. It just it looks complete. Uh, moving on to the second hangar. I have a Rebel Y-Wing. So this is the OG Trilogy Y-Wing. The um, Rebels, the Rebel technicians decided to move out the panels in order to make maintenance much easier because I guess in the lore it's like every time something wrong happens or something needs to be fixed on this vehicle they have to remove all the plating on like this version or something to access the components so i guess to save time the rebel technicians had to just like take off just took off all the panels so they can just directly access all the components and yeah moving on i have a I think 2020 Lego, no, I think it's 2019 Lego X-Wing. This is one of my most favorite fighters. Over here, I have our vehicles and the, I think this is the 2005 or 2006, is it 2006 um, Lego X-Wing. I modified it a little bit, but um, not that much, so yeah. Going down, I have a Lego A-Wing from 2013. To the second hangar, uh, to the other hangar, um, I have Darth Vader's TIE Advanced. Now, that's a really good fighter. Um, I think Lego made a, uh, another version of the fighter with uh, I think the that back was like a lot thinner, but yeah. Under there, I have the Lego City Coast Guard helicopter. This set over here was um one of my first sets of all time, and yeah, this is more for like humanitarian missions or spec ops missions, like. If you're trying to insert some spec ops troopers without like attracting any attention, I guess I can use this vehicle to sneakily get to um sneakily um get by enemy defenses without being noticed. But yeah, over here, let's keep moving on. I have a creator jet fighter. It's a two seater. I originally equipped this with a um, cannon with a bunch of missiles, but um, currently I'm using this more as a training, training um, vehicle for future pilots. On to the next hangar. I have a attack helicopter. Moving down, I have another modified um. This is a Republic, old Republic fighter. I forgot its name, but it's another strike fighter. 
Yeah. Last but certainly not least, I have a Space Police Cruiser. That's like a um it's like a the sky ship. So like one moment. One moment. Um random cargo carrier. The next a fully active a fully active um active space cruiser and yeah well actually um i also have this atst over here this is the um rogue one version this um coast guard tower motorcycles and that's basically it I hope you guys had a good time and um, thanks for watching. Bye.